Warning, this video is intended for audiences who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Alright, hey, so hey, hey, boy, hey, so once again, uh, Japanese pronunciation is amazing, right? Uh-huh. The fact they're able to get away with that, you know. Well, with the, how do you say evil, evil, evil ET live? Something like that, right? Evil T Leave Fuck. Evil E T Live, right? Because they have the Y T Y between the evil Boy and the I don't know why they didn't just call this Evil Live. Or maybe it would sound like evil then. Fucking hearing that correctly. It's really setting up setting up this joke, you know, you know, you gotta let them have it. You gotta let them have it for me. Well, well, well. Look what we have here, non-believers. Oh, how I pity your feeble, unloyal, distrustful minds. For you to think that for the third time in a row, we would not have a Kamen Rider series where a character that died, a Kamen Rider specifically died, and came back to life is absolutely foolish and I can't believe you didn't think that this would come over the hear me now for our new god is common writer evil titty live <laughs> yeah so 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 here's the thing right yeah uh uh, yeah, the, the 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 Japanese language is a, is an absolute uh, treasure. Um, uh -huh. Right. I don't get if it's like I had to look at like what the actual given like spelling is, and it's like it's such a weird like. Not they they took something that could have just been an easy. I mean, technically, it is still a palindrome, but the they the like words that they use to do it are just so mind-boggling that it's just like I I mean I guess I guess that works. Evility live, mm. evility live. Okay, okay, what a weird smashing together of fucking like we're going to force this together. We're going. To, whether you like it or not, you two are fucking becoming one joint, like, super form. That's uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But here we are, the revival of the greatest, spiciest boy of all time. <laughs> Our favorite character is back, you know. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just a, it's a thing. Also, uh -huh. I don't like how they get, they, they explained away how, why he wasn't here, which was... What do you mean? What do you mean, William? What's you wrong with how he was there? Like you mean was the like, fact hey, that I'm he was gonna hide inside your fucking device and not say shit? So, so I just wanna, I just wanna let you know. So I was doing the math on this earlier. Okay. I went a little bit crazy. I went okay. a little bit crazy when this happened, um, and I start thinking about this a lot. So, do you? Uh, hey, hey, time for one of my, uh, one of my uh, guessing games. I don't care what other people think. Um, hey. How long do you remember how long it's been since Kagero? I I'll just ask you the month. Can you remember what month was the last time that we saw Kagero? Shit, fucking... okay, oh, 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 what is it Actually, May. Oh, okay. Your guess is May. Austin, uh, do you let's know? See. I have to assume. Let's see. Was it? What episode forty-four? Right. I had to assume. Was it? Hirobi came back episode thirty. 32? And I assume Daiji became crazy a few episodes before this. I'm gonna assume that Kagro died around like 28, 29. So that's what. So is this Wait, like 12? There, your, your logic is bad, but your numbers are right. I don't know how to feel about that one. <laughs> uh, because yeah. that... Yeah, no, as, so as William was saying, Hiromi definitely May, only right? came back like... like Five six episodes ago. Oh, okay. it has not been that long. It was oh. not thirty two. I will tell you that for damn sure. Oh, okay. Uh, 
But you are actually incredibly close because it was episode twenty six. Oh, when, okay. Uh, when that happened, oh. that was in March. Oh, fuck. oh my god! I did the math. It's been eighteen weeks, a hundred and twenty six days, almost half a year. Right? No, hold on. Don't. Almost a third of a year. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Should we correct that himself? Yeah, almost a third of a year for like. Kagero to be completely written out of the show. Mm-hmm. He has stayed boxed up in a fucking pissy mood for 126 days out of pure spite. <laughs> that is some real... I know we call him emo boy, but that is some real fucking I mean, edge lord fucking we should, It like, should have been obvious that Kagero didn't... was still in the show, right? So, so here is the surefire way when you know an actor has left Kamen Rider. They give them the flower, right? They never gave Kagero the flower. It was that obvious. We they missed can't... it, you wait, know? Wait, wait, yeah, wait. uh-huh. Yeah, they didn't give Kagero the flower. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. What? Yeah, sure, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, they didn't okay, give Kagero okay, well, the know, flowers. There's like, a, there's like a cultural production thing that Japan does, right? It's when you finish the, like, if you're like a main supporting character, right? Uh-huh. And you finish They the, say their thanks and give you a bouquet. Yeah, like, they thank you for being on the show and everything, everything right? It's like, it's, it's a cultural oh, thing, right? Oh, like a send-off. Right? Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, like, it's like, like, like they, they, yeah. they, 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 right? I mean, like, like you could still come back to the show, but you're going to be like a very limited, uh, like a limited appearance, like a guest actor or something, right? Right, right. Right, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like uh, the best example is, is when the, is when the, the Roddy Rough Boys, right? Mm-hmm. When each member of the Roddy Rough Boy die, like, afterwards, the, ins- the, the Twitter, the Instagram, the fuck, will post a picture of them with their flower, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, them, right? Like, like, uh, like, the most recent one was, uh, was with the, was with the voice actor for, uh, for, for Vale, like, they, like, they, like, they even gave Vale's, uh, voice actor, Seto Kaiba his flowers and everything, you know? I mean, maybe they... Oh, boy, I was gonna... Mm. Those flowers might not have been for him. Those might have uh, been for him to take to somebody else's. I don't know what to do. Look, you, you, made, you, you made the reference uh, to Seto Kaiba. I, I, this is the most tasteful way for me to make a joke. <laughs> uh, okay, look, the secret is not to make the joke, you know? Right? Like, well, the like, secret like, is like, to like, not like, swim off the coast of Oki... Okay. Oh right oh oh right but I'm not. Oh, yeah. oh boy, hey. Oh, man. <laughs> man, oh, wait, I just thought of a good meme. And everything. Hey, uh, hey, you guys, you guys talk about the episode while I make a meme in the background. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna let you do. Uh, I'll let you have the meme. Mine was just gonna be Jesus references. Let's be real. After 126 days, he is risen. He is resurrected. Uh, so okay. Let's. I guess. Oh man, he chose to. He chose to go off and fuck off and make a meme before <laughs> introducing it. So, uh, hey, here's my unhinged shit. Hey, it's uh, the, our weekly unnamed Tokusatsu podcast where he, Austin, fucks off to make a meme. Uh, normally I would do that, but you know what? Less work for me, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, fucking, uh, 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 he, that's him, Austin, takes uh, you, William, that's you, William, who knows little to nothing about Kamen Rider and is in, uh, gradually or, being or, indoctrinated or into it. The culture of hey, shut the fuck up! This is my introduction, bitch! Shut the fuck up! I'll kill you! Uh... <laughs> And where I, Tariq, pick up the slack whenever one of these fuckers uh, f- f- fail to meet their uh, uh, goddamn standards uh, in my multi-step Machiavellian plot, much like uh, Gifu and uh, Akaishi. You know, uh, strange, suddenly, here we go. Like having, uh, uh, episode forty-five. Episode forty-four, not forty-five. Lay down my body and soul. The whereabouts of the decision. Ooh, ooh, it's it's a oh boy. Daiji still sucks. Daiji still sucks. But this episode, he learns that he sucked less when he had an emo boy inside of him. <laughs> so yeah, uh-huh. uh, this is episode forty-four. Uh, picking up right after where we left off with forty-three of yeah. Daiji killed Akaishi, then turned around and said, "Hey, Gifu, I'm better. Put a demon in me. I'll be your. I won't. I didn't want to call him daddy, but I'll call you daddy. Put a demon in me, daddy." <laughs> Oh, Gifu Granddaddy, put it in me. Yeah. What are you doing, Gifu? God, stop, please. Oh, God. And, yeah, well, hey, you know who else says stop? Lovecom. Lovecom just oh, yeah, intangibly tries to run... Lovecom cared that much about Daiji, unironically, to be honest. 
Lovecov just tries to intangibly run into Daiji, even though Lovecov knows how this works. We Lovecov might be the biggest enigma out of all three of the uh, like the siblings' demons. Like Lovecov lives an incredibly weird life. Like we've seen that she has her own mind palace that is like a full furnished room. Right. Can speak full sentences. Actually, it is just doing this cutesy act to be adorable. Like, I mean, Lovecov is fucking ha like haunting in reality. It's like, imagine if your teddy bear from childhood was like your inner demon and it lived inside of you and could just come out and fucking like, and also would constantly you like you had to keep from killing itself every time you let it out of its cage Jeez. and like you also turned it into weapons and shit. Like, it's. Lovecov is, is is the weirdest entity of the three siblings, mm -hmm. and that's saying a lot considering Kagero and Vice. Mm. You know that the, you, you brought it up, but now that I think on it, you think the reason she can speak full sentences in the mind is because she's like like similar to Geef in that sense. In, in that sense. Oh my god! Well, she's Holy adapting. shit! She's learning. Holy fuck! Oh my god! No, I think he's saying that because the same way that in this episode, Gifu only spoke like when he's in his like dimension with vice yeah. <laughs> like that that's uh lovkov's like trait of being like gifu's uh, descendant i guess technically speaking is that she has like she has that same i guess condition of like she can only really speak like full sentences in her own dimension in her own Hot space, yeah. mm. boy, William. That really, that really fucked with me. Uh, I, I'm but gonna like, be honest. That's, that's a real. <laughs> I, I, that's not the craziest fucking thing. And to be honest, like, if in the, I guess the Battle Familia movie or something, if they try to make like more of an insistence on uh, the demons. I mean, we still have six episodes left, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh, but, yeah like, if they try to make hey, more. Yeah, uh, Richard Barry the book. Hey, they confirmed the episode count, by the way, William. Yeah. Uh, 50 episodes, get it? Because Revice is the 50th anniversary of the Common Rider Are they really season? doing it like that? Are yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I mean, to be fair, the alternative is you wind up like, uh, z uh, like zero one, and you get 45 because of a pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to, so, I'm, I guess I'm going to save the rant I have about the greater thing about, because bringing up the episode count and bringing up zero one makes me think about something else that I want to talk about, but... Mm -hmm. So, this whole f episode is basically trying to stop Daiji from going off the edge. Like, people are literally jumping in front of proverbial buses to try and stop him from getting, like, going off the deep end completely. Yeah, uh, they do that a lot when he's like, hey man, give me a contract, and then he's like, oh, no, Vice, here we go, and he just fucking drags him Yeah, and, and so, I, I like that it... The, the point of Vice taking the hit for Daiji, and then that serves as a way to finally put somebody else other than Akaishi. I mean, I don't even think Akaishi got into the fucking into Gifu's hole. No, like, he ever just poked him across from it, you know? He, he, he just, just got to speak yeah. to him. He just but yelled like, as, as Gifu, so I'd like, who's definitely way further on the other side. He had to yell through the hole, you know? Yeah. But like, someone like, yeah. like you yelling to someone who's in, who's in the downstairs while you're upstairs, like, hey, hey, turn off. Hey, turn off the lights when you go up. Or it's like that uh, scene from the Shazam movie where uh, fucking uh, I forget the actors who played Shazam, but like where Shazam is facing off with the villain exactly. and he's Levi. the dude's trying to monologue at him, and they're like flying above like the the like skyscraper. He's like, "What? I can't hear you. You're too far away." Yeah. Like. It's, it's a wonder that Akaishi is like, I don't understand, I was doing everything that he was asking me to do, and it's like, oh, well, actually he was trying to tell you to fucking, like, uh, defeat Reaganomics and, like, <laughs> promote, and promote, like, uh, you know, sustainable environmental practices, but, uh, you kept fucking trying to kill everybody. <laughs> Maybe he was actually right, like, he just wanted the best for humanity, you know, and you misinterpret yeah. it, right? Also, Let's let's be real, right? So, fucking Akaishi had uh, had immortality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That to me says he got immortality as an old man. Mm -hmm. 
if we've learned anything from most governments, having old people around for too long, lead, trying to lead a nation or lead a movement, not necessarily the best idea. Sometimes you got to put an age cap on this stuff. Okay. Being stuck forever at 75 is probably not the best, like, vessel to have, like, uh, being the megaphone for your, like, ideologies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so after Vice goes up into Gifu's hole, uh, we go back to weekend base to basically recover because, hey, we actually did something with Hikaru, but also... Uh, he's kind of out of commission now, I guess. Yeah, That's no, convenient, no, no, but I sure it, wonder... You know, he proved it to his, uh, to his fake dad that, that he died and everything, you know? Yeah, he proved to his fake dad that he's real strong. Mm -hmm. Ooh, boy. Just, wow, what a character arc. He really just keeps those grasses around, too. Like, I'm kind of getting oh. annoyed every time that like, maybe then my father will be proud of me, brings up grasses. Maybe my father will be proud of me, yeah. brings up grasses. Like, oh my god, stop. Also, how did he hey, maybe by this point with all the fights he's been in? <laughs> Uh, turns out they were fake the whole time, just like his family. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, I'll have to deal with him for the rest of this episode, so, you know. Yeah, and probably, and potentially for uh, a while, depending on uh, certain things that might happen. Um, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Daiji decides to come over simply to say, I'm going to, like, bye-bye, time to die, I'm, I'm gonna go be evil. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh yeah, Which, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for raising me, Mom, now I can be evil, just like you wanted me to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and everybody clearly goes, no one has said that. Literally everyone is saying, stop doing that. No, I don't want you to do this. Please don't do this. For the love of God, no. Um, and speaking of family issues, which is continuing to be oh, yeah, the look, trend look, of the show. Look, everyone had family drama, you know, right? Yeah, fucking, gra fucking Daddy Karizaki is still not dead. But dying. He, he has, has been dying die for the at some point, you know. Well, right? He has been dying for the last he has been dead or dying for the last like three episodes. The amount of time that it's taken this man to die like in to die, collapse in one place, and then slowly die in another place is honestly kind of representative of uh, the the American healthcare system. But like <laughs> okay. it's still like yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this isn't the American healthcare system. It's the weekend's healthcare system. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, look, 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 hey, look, maybe, maybe weekend has a like, good health system. You know, who knows what all yeah. the money he siphoned, for, right? Wait. <laughs> From Noah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah exactly. and, uh, look, maybe, maybe that's where all the budgeting in weekend goes. Either buy a bunch of custom-made clothing. Or healthcare, you know, right? Yeah, or or fucking fucking goddamn life support services for this burn victim. I mean, you say it's like the best healthcare system, but have you seen the fucking room that he was in? Not, I wouldn't say that. I mean, yeah, he's in a fucking dungeon. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. He's in a he's in a hospital dungeon. He probably died of set. He probably was would have been fine if he hadn't been breathing fucking asbestos in the fucking basement for the last two or last twenty years. Hey, hey man, that asbestos was the only thing keeping him alive. All right. <laughs> oh. I guess so. God. Uh. Or or, or maybe but yeah, he just hey, didn't have good like, airflow, right? Right, like even when uh, yeah, kind of hard to have good airflow when you so, have that mask on. Right. Like maybe that's something he should realize. Huh? Why do I have such a oh. hard time breathing with this mask? You know. Oh uh, yeah. You know what? He's right. Yeah. You know what's killing people more than anything? It's masks. Yeah, that's it's right. those masks. Those yeah. damn masks. Yeah, he should have taken off that mask. He should have. He should have lived free. It's not not for fear. You don't be. A, you don't be afraid. You live free. Be, be a lion. Don't be like the other sheep. <laughs> yeah. Don't be like the other sheep. I know that you're probably a, as a burn victim, have a reduced immune system. As you're covered in scar tissue, but absolutely don't wear a mask. God, dude. Uh, but anyway, it's important because it ha makes Hana have to go to George and go. You should probably talk to your dad before he dies. He's like, listen, he's he does this shit every week. Okay, <laughs> he's been doing this right, shit right, for a while. Right, he's, he's right, pretend right, he, right, he, he pretended right, he was right, dead. Right, if, he pretended he was dead. dead to me for twenty five. He pretended that he was dead to me for twenty five years. I'm not falling for it again. <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, but yeah, for the umpteenth time, we get the Igarashi siblings fighting each other to the yeah. death. Oh boy, yeah, it happens so fight, much. fight, fight, fight. 
God, it has it. Our family has issues. Well, well, I think every family has issues. We've been fighting for like five, it's... six. Six episodes, maybe. Look, look, ever look, when did ever since Dimey got radicalized, you know, they've just been fighting, you know, like they're trying to convince it to, hey, don't put all your money into into Minecraft world NFT, all right? Don't do that. <laughs> Mojang and Microsoft can make an announcement at any time saying don't ban blockchain and NFTs from Minecraft, you know, right? <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, don't worry, look, well, look, William, it was at twenty ETA five. Mm, 12 hours ago, it's at 0 0.7 uh, ETH right now, so... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's... that's and it'll, it'll go back up. It'll go back up, you know? You, you know what they say about <laughs> stock. At some point, it has to go back up. Yeah, sure. Or it could just keep going down, you know? No, 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 no. That's, that's not how Bitcoin works, you know? Bitcoin always goes back up, you know? The yeah. NFT market will make it go back up. Well, I wish it would stay down, honestly, at this point. Holy shit. Oh, boy, hey, look, I learned my hard lesson this weekend about that, all right? Oh. At, in Chicago. So, so this doesn't... So, you don't know about... So, during during the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, World Championship uh, Nationals, right? You can do side events, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so you pay like, I don't mm -hmm. know, 12, 15 bucks for the fuck to do these side events. It's broken out to make you feel like, like they're not scamming you to pay them to play Yu-Gi-Oh, right? They give you tickets, right? Uh-huh. All right, then you can redeem these tickets for like Konami items. Like you get like mats, get like a, a dice or some shit, right? But no one gives a fuck about those, right? People right. care about the high-end stuff, right? The sheets, right? Like the actual Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. sheets. Those are like 250 tickets, right? Right, you think as a one guy, how do you accomplish that? That's impossible, right, for one guy to do. So uh -huh. you gotta go in with a team to get those sh to get a sheet, right? But even then, you're thinking about that. Wait a minute, even if a team goes, right, that's still impossible for you to get as a team, right? Uh -huh. So what's the next best thing? You buy tickets from people, okay? Right. Uh huh. Right. So so day one, people for buying tickets for for twenty for twenty dollars a ticket. You know, and you're thinking that's pretty good, but you're like, I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna see what happens, right? But here's the problem: the the the, the expensive sheets. There's only one copy of it. You know, Kami only brings one of that. And you know what happens as soon as one person claims that claims the most expensive item on the prize wall? And look, those ticket prices people will buy it goes down real quick. All right. <laughs> Let oh, me tell you, you 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 hold when, when you should have when you should have people were buying Let tickets for twenty five a ticket right. Uh -huh. As soon as that prize sheet was claimed, it was ten dollars a ticket. <laughs> so look, I learned I learned a hard lesson that week. All right. Look, <laughs> 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 oh, you yeah. always so. Oh, we sell hot, you know. There might be a review there now. Don't don't ask questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> IMDb apparently has a much more stringent review process than I thought. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh. Anyway, yeah, the brother, the siblings keep fighting. Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, but like, it, it, <coughs> luckily, Hiromi, as a somewhat older adult, is like. Okay, I can't keep letting these kids fucking beat the shit out of each other. Somebody needs to be the adult here and get this boy to fucking calm down. I don't care if I have to do the stupid fucking... Give me the give me the suicide driver, please. Give me my my uh, soul-sucking driver, please. And Yeah, the thing that was... George's only stip... Yeah, right? Yeah, and George's, George's only stipulation is, please stop saying your cringy-ass catchphrase. Uh, I, I took it... I don't care what... I don't care what Grandma said. I don't care, uh, like, what the fuck else, uh, I'm trying to think of another fucking catchphrase, um, fuck, what was, uh, fuck, what was the one in Build, uh, where he flicked his hair? Um, uh, I'm, I'm calculating the fight or some shit, right? Was, yeah, the fucking, like, like, perfect combo calculated or something, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah, I don't right? or, or, or how he'll, like, or how he'll beat this level with no continue. Right. Oh, that that one. Yeah, that that's a real good one. That's yeah, I'll beat this level. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, with clear. Yeah. Fucking cringy for his catchphrase. All right. Okay, especially wait. because, especially because the only the it's it's one of those things again. Going back to oh, the beauty of Japanese. It's if I remember it correctly, it was. If think it was something like. 
Kono game o Kriyoshio mm -hmm. no continues day, something like that. Okay. So three of the words that he says are fucking English. Like, game, clear, no continues. Like, so he's ramming together a sentence that's like... What was it? It was something like... Maybe it was level? Maybe it was game? I think he, was, I think like, he just says, I'll clear just with no continue, right? Yeah, but I. it was something like... Yeah, I just want to know what the... I'm going to try and find the exact... Okay. Quote of what it is. Oh, yeah, but I'm anyway, sure it's no, no, no. Be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a, yeah. I think that was like, I think that's probably like one of the worst copywriter catchphrases. It makes sense because it was a video game and they were all video game based, but hey, look. Even though that's still pretty fucking cringy as, as fuck to say. Right? <laughs> Honestly, like when, uh, when fucking George gave, like, he wrote me the fucking thing, he's like, hey, man, I'll give you the suicide driver, just don't commit suicide with it. You know? <laughs> yeah, hey, you gotta, you gotta come back to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that way I don't have to feel... Come back to me alive. To you. Although, I guess it doesn't, like, drain him anymore or oh. something, right? Was that what it I was? feel like it Okay, did. hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on, I found it, I found it. Oh. I'll clear this with no continues. No continue de kriya shi... Uh... Shite yare, yaru ze. No continue de kriya shite yaru ze. Mm -hmm. huh. No continue de kriya shite... Kiyoshite Yaruze. Okay. Kiyoshite Yaruze, yeah. Okay, yeah. you might be able to repeat it one more time for the class? No, 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 no. I, I just wanted to... Uh, it was. You can just edit out whichever one of those uh, sounds the least uh, terrible uh, so no, I don't I'll have to shoot I'll keep myself it all in the foot. You know, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think you need to do yeah, that. I, I, forget, I, I wanted to mention this in the last recording we did. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, you can mention it now. But, like, um... Do you, do you ever feel like you have... Do you ever regret, like, learning Japanese? because of all the cursed knowledge it has brought you about puns in Japan? Uh, the only time that I really felt like my brain was going to explode was when we went oh, when we were doing the Veil Legacy, like, episode one, and I started explaining the entire, like, the entire thing about, like, this whole everything about Revice and the stuff that you guys didn't know. I didn't realize that you guys didn't know about all of their fucking names being goddamn puns kept like unraveling bit after bit and i felt like my i was going fucking insane and like explaining a goddamn conspiracy theory because i had to go no this conspiracy june pay shiranami because it's 71 and it's blah, 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 and there's 50 is Ginta, and the igarashi is 50 and there's that and it's just like i just started going off the rails and that was the most i've ever felt like a crazy person ranting on the street like no, listen to me. I promise. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, it's just funny because I get to like look at stuff and go, "Oh, that's weird." Uh, and you know, hey, maybe sometime I'll decide to get serious again and uh, actually try to do translation. But that's uh, when you know life isn't uh, a survival game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, speaking of survival games, Gifu shows up because this fight wasn't messy enough. Hey, here's your demon back. I'm spitting him out of my hole. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll form a contract with you. I, I like that Gifu just keeps on, like, starting to fucking, like, make the contract I and just be like, well, whoever gets it, gets I'm it. Like, I'm so annoyed by it, though, because it's like every time he c tries to make the contract with Daiji, they always, like, like, here's a... They Maybe stop him at the last second. They stop him at the last no, second. No, this is like the, the, the slowest, slowest contract I've ever fucking seen. Like, like all Dodgy has to do is accept. But he's actually, right? All he has to do is accept. But people keep going in like, hold on, hold on. Let's read the user end agreement real quick. Let's yeah, yeah, hold sure. on. Where's the fine print? Where's the fine print? You are side, you are, uh, they, you are letting them track your data. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, 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 all Dodgy wants to do is click. I, I agree and click submit, you know? But everyone. I like, accept the cookies. It's fine. I promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but everyone else is like, hold on. Like, I just really... Whoa, 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 I yeah. really want to die yeah. to be, like, a fucking, like, villain at this point, because that's what they were going to do. But they keep stopping him, and I kept getting so annoyed, because, like, this is, like, the easiest... Like, this is the... I mean, what was really funny with this one was it got all the way to the point of, like, Daiji being absorbed by the contract, and Iki just runs in and takes him out of it, and it's like, nope, still yeah, not getting your contract. I wasn't expecting that. I thought, right, because we know from the preview that Daiji was going to get a new form, right? And I thought this was going to yeah. be his contract with Gifu for, right? Like, I was unironically expecting nope. for the way this series to nope. end was for nope. Daiji to become the main antagonist, right? Because basically, nope. it right, was going to be Kagero. Yeah, or something like that, right? Because that's what happened in um in, in Kamen Rider Guy, right? We were going to watch that series at some point. When oh, boy, yeah. I mean, that's true. All right. 
I'll say this. Austin is right in one of the things that makes Kamen Rider Gaim one of, like, the best in writing. Again, this is the season that was done by Geno Rubuchi. In a complete subversion of things, right? right? The final villain is a monster. But that final villain being a mo- is not the monster that, like, the monster boss villain that we started off with. Like, if there's a Gifu equivalent, right? It, it's the Gifu equivalent. And he, instead, another rider, basically, becomes a monster on level with that, that, or like, superseding says, hey, look, the I'm, boss I'm, monster. I'm, I'm taking over your spot, you know, right? That, that's, yeah. basically, that's basically how, how Guy ends, right? He with goes full, it's, it's, it goes full Sasuke Naruto where he's like, you got oh. the power of a god? I'll get the power of the devil. Fuck you. Like, the, the only way I can compete with you is by fully committing to being evil. Uh, so I'll eat the forbidden fruit and become well, the most yeah. evil. Uh, Tariq is not saying that unironically, because the theme of the show was about fruit, you know? Like, like, like it was an actual... Like, like, it was an actual descent. I'm, like, like unironically speaking about judo Christianity uh, analogy. Like, an actual descent, right? Oh, yeah, it was... Like an actual uh, fall I'll like say, of an angel uh, going, I'll, becoming yeah, a I'll say this. I'll... I'll say this, the funny thing about it is, uh, in retrospect, because I was, uh, oh, uh, because Molly and I started watching Love After uh, World Domination, that anime oh. about, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Sentai boy getting in a relationship with a, the evil organization girl, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and, like, the whole bit about that is that they're called Gelato 5, like, and I was like, you know, it's funny that there hasn't been, like, a food-based... Sentai series, but there has been one for Kamen Rider, and I thought about that with like I was thinking about Gaim again. I'm like, you know, when you think about the tree of Yggdrasil, it makes more sense that it's all fruit feeding, and that's all I'll say about that without spoiling too much for you, William. But it's basically one of those things where you go, you know what, this makes more sense than I thought. Hmm. Okay. Um. Anyway, speaking of uh, well, mm, well, mm, mm. speaking of making more sense than uh, it, you'd think. Apparently, the only thing that can save Daiji from himself is a hug. Uh, after Hiromi, Hiromi transforms, we finally all rejoice, all of you people who fill out whatever character popularity poll. Uh, uh-huh. you, oh, your, your boy's back. That's right. Yeah. The boy is back in town. Uh, he's And he's back in the pilot seat. And he's... Uh, that's, that's the only demons that we accept. Uh, stop the steal. Fucking... There's no way that we'll accept this fake one. Uh, oh and somehow, somehow Hiromi, by himself, despite the fact that the belt is still definitely sucking his soul away, is able to go toe-to-toe, literally in this case, I guess, with fucking Daiji in his power-up form. Which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it, but like also just a great moment of like redemption for him after all of the like being kicked around that he's like dealt with mm-hmm. yeah. uh but yeah Hiromi somehow Hiromi is the only one that could fucking uh crack through Daiji's stupid stupid brain of like I I've just gotta commit to being bad and Hiromi's right? like uh, and, what and the fuck it, are you doing his, what the fuck are you doing his, uh, his parents love or his family's love. It was his co-worker no. the entire time. Yeah, it was his senpai. Thank you, senpai. Mm-hmm. Once again, hey, once again, the only answer is senpai's love. <laughs> yeah, that is the only answer. But I also like how it's like, hey, man, you know that lesson that you learned like the last ep- like last like two episodes ago? Hey, that you keep being taught. Yeah, it's like this. This is what it. Let me just let me just spell it out for you right in front of your face. <laughs> Let me just say... Yeah, it, another yeah, another Memo is going to make is just... almost died to teach you this lesson by fighting his demon, you know, right? Like, his actual yeah. superpower death demon, unlike your your little baby demon, right? Right? Like, this demon mm-hmm. act- actively wanted to kill him, right? Yeah. And everything. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you just need yeah. to start over, bro. Just, like, chill, chill out. Yeah, get over it. You'll be okay. Yeah, it's like I, you made mistakes, but hey, confront them. You'll you, you'll be fine. You'll start over, mm-hmm. and then yeah, there you go. And it, and it, it again, Hiromi dies. 
I hate that so much, dude. They have to. They always do that. These oh fucking fuck! Fake ah, I was. I actually. I. I. I was told by the end of this episode as well. I thought like, yeah, I'd be like, yeah. I was like, I was like, I was thinking like, this is a good. If I, if they were for her only to go out, right? Yeah, it would right. be. It would be because you know it's just kind of like. because right, because it, it's joke. It still reflects his ideals and everything of what he stands for as a character, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but I think I think it wouldn't have worked because if it, uh, if he, if he didn't like, if he died, it would have just been. It wouldn't have shown him like event like sort of getting to this point of trying to get over this like martyr like like noble hero that dies like fighting like thing that i f is jokes aside basically what george is trying to teach him like trying to tell him um so like i get it i i i get like it feels like he should have died but uh you know he had to fucking uh he had to uh the fucking uh, make it so that he could learn something i guess i mean i feel like <laughs> him going into the battle like would have taught him that regardless because he wasn't like after like george being all like hey just don't say that anymore dude just like you, you can't you can't just fight by putting your life on the line, you have to kind of fight for other reasons, you know, and then, you know, him fighting to help Daiji out with that shit was basically that, so, like, it would have felt, a, like, it would have felt appropriate, you know, that kind of thing, but then you kind of get the whole, uh, like, with Daiji, like, hey, man, I want to change, but, like, how am I going to do that? I lost my demon, uh, tear on my fucking, uh, device, and then Kagero's back. <laughs> You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now, and now we can get to it. 126 episodes and 37 minutes and fucking uh, goddamn uh, 18 episodes later, the return of fucking Kagero. Yeah. I told you, I told you, I fucking told you, I kept saying it, nobody would believe me, nobody wants to listen to me. Ooh, ooh, Kagero's gonna come back. Let's, let's, let's talk about uh -huh. this. This is the third series. This is the third Common Rider series in a row now, mm. where we have had a Common Rider die, and then they've been revived, just flat out. Like it, they take like double digits worth of time for them to be gone, and then they come back. Every single Common Rider series of the Reiwa era so far has had one death and rebirth arc. Just if not multiple, right? Mm -hmm. It happened in it happened in zero one with like technically two characters, but mainly uh, technically three characters actually. But mainly there's one big main character that it happens to. Mm -hmm. It happened in Saber with fucking uh, Kento, yeah, 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 and Tassel, yeah. uh, and then it fucking and like the the whole shit with uh, Kagura was like. Yeah, I, uh, I don't... It just seemed like the natural fucking solution, because how else could they cleanly make this lineup? They could go for a full... We could get a full time, like, where they commit to the bit and become evil. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. I'm looking at x -Aid just because we were talking about that. Yeah. x -Aid literally has a... Aside from the Kamen Rider that literally his entire bit is he's a zombie... And keep has ninety nine disposable lives to come back again. It's a gaming reference, right? There's a common writer who is a bike. Don't ask questions. He's a bike, uh, and he and he dies well because he's a bike. He was kind of the worst one out of them, stat statistically. Out of out of all the characters, he might have been the best one, but he was. But he dies because he's a bike, and he should have known better. And then he comes back, but then he gets revived later on. As not just a stupid bike, uh, because he's like he even in that he gets revived. Comrade does kill people off, but like I mean, like Austin was saying, unless they give them the the flowers, they're not really gone. Uh, and I didn't see no flowers for Kagero, so I mean, 
I've kind of figured if you don't give flowers for like Kagero, it's just because it's the same actor regardless, right? Nah, no, you could commit shut to up, the William, bit. Shut up, William! Shut up, William! Shut up, William! What are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they could have committed a bit. Don't you tell me Santa isn't real. Look, uh, it's just, I'm kind of, an also, kind of annoyed by that, right? Because hold on. Wait, wait, William. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? They couldn't have shown... They couldn't have shown Kagero next to Daiji in terribly edited green screen holding a, a bouquet of flowers just like they did in this episode? Don't get that. That was also... Awesome. Holy shit. They could not make that work, they could they? Ah, uh, full. Like there was the lighting that was, was good, but then again, they were using stunt doubles, right? When they yeah, they the 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 double stuff, like when they had stunt doubles and like weren't focusing on the face, perfectly fine, made sense. They should have stayed. They should have. They should have stayed in their lane. They shouldn't have tried something. I like, don't understand how they could have. Bat I can't believe they how badly edited this. The CGI. It's really bad. It's like. It's like they could have like, like they didn't even get the obvious. lighting right. Mm -hmm. It's clearly obvious that they filmed the actor, uh, Daiji's actor in the outfit like way later, right? So they had the green screen, well, right? Well, that's the thing is like I feel like the usual thing, the usual answer I guess people have, especially when you look at what's happening there, like there's clear negative space in the, the shots where they have the two of them looking at each other, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's meant to be where Kagura is supposed to be standing. Yeah. But rather than do it I guess the typical way that's been done for fucking since, what, fucking The Parent Trap and goddamn okay, yeah. like, yeah, in yeah. every Eddie Murphy movie, like, was like, hey, we're gonna film this half of the scene with you facing this way in this outfit, mm. and then we're gonna refilm the scene with this half, with you and with you on this half of the like shot in this clothing, and that's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna splice that footage. That's yeah, how yeah. it's gonna work. Yeah, ba ba basically. We're gonna yeah, over. Right? We're gonna we're gonna overlay the layers. We yeah. Just so long as you don't cross the line where we need to like make the edit, where we need to make the cut. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Instead, they went. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna have you stand in the green screen closet, and we'll just film you there, and then we'll just slap it in. It's a lot easier. We yeah. don't have the time to do this. Uh -huh. And I don't know why they would choose to do it like, that I way. I don't know why, because if you think about it, both of the shots where they have are both still stone shots, right? So they yeah. could have just filmed the background, and then green screen both actors into it, to make it look yeah. like song. Because it's really awkwardly noticed, that you can tell. Right? I mean, it's obvious that it's, that it's edited because it's the it's two actors, right? Ignore right. that. It's, but it's like, but you can obviously tell that the that the part where they for Kagro, where when they had the actor uh, standing, it's definitely the green screen uh, section and everything, because there's actually like a little white filter around him to make it look less. Well, noticeable. it's also it's not even that. It's like it's filmed in a different quality camera, like it's a different like the I'm looking specifically like the 16 minute mark, 16. Oh yeah, I'm seeing it right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is like if you go to like the, like Kagura like, is in 16, a different 40. definition than the rest of the scene. Yeah, we like, go to like sixteen physically in, when they do the close up. You can definitely see in it in a different image fidelity, like than everything else. Mm -hmm. Right. It's so it's such a weird decision, and it's like, uh, look, hey, luckily it doesn't last that long, yeah, but it right, really does quick. take I you mean, out of it. I mean, the argument you can always say that is quick, and that no Japanese kid who's white, right, the attended audience, um. Right? Yeah. yeah. Is it gonna take notice of this shit, right? It's like how, yeah. it's, it's like how, we just, as you're a kid, when you watch Power Rangers, you didn't know when they switched to the, to the Sentai footage. Japanese footage, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right, so it's always like, 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 it's like, it's only like, like, only if you look at it from a technical standpoint, you'll, you'll, you'll notice it, right? But, right? But don't, but, yeah. but the fact that these are such quick scenes, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's fine, I guess. It's still, technically, it's, it's, it's really cheap and lazy how they did this. Right? Yeah. And it could have done it better. But I guess it's whatever, right? But hey, hey, the, hey look, the form looks cool at least. Ah, uh, this is a good Yeah, the form looks cool. Also, this is probably my favorite, like. I think having uh, Wings and Kate is extremely a fucking dumb idea, though. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit excessive. Like if but it was like, I just it like, was, like the, a little slash, like uh, we'll leave, not call like yeah the the like mantle thing where it's like like over a shoulder. No, 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 like like the thing you put around your waist. oh like uh, around the waist, right? Oh, like yeah. the thing that uh that live that uh that live yeah regular live had yeah right like I don't know what I, I agree. Like, if it had something like that, mm -hmm. I, it's not it's not a skirt. I don't think is what you would call it. No, it's like a cloak or. 
uh, some like yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. But yeah, no. I but mean, I, technically, it'd be a loincloth. Technically, I guess it'd be a loincloth, just long. Right, but yeah, no, it looks really dumb to have that and the wing on on over it, right? Like, oh, because it feels yeah. like you're defeating the purpose. My jetpack has has. Oh fuck! Oh my god! I just realized what it what it looks like. Holy shit! This is actually really bad. Um, hold on. Keep talking. No, no, no. Okay. Uh. Keep, yeah, I just realized right. that it, he looks exact like a the, with the wings over the over the cape or like the jetpack over the cape. He looks exactly like another character, and it's oh. almost it's almost plagiarism. It's almost <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. I just gotta look him up. Okay. 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 Anyway, uh, so, hey, let's let's I, do me talk yeah, about this for. Hold on. You, you guys keep about uh, evil talking. Lock. I'm gonna try and find an <laughs> image of it. <laughs> I just think for me, like with the like the like I agree, like the wings and the cape would like aren't that great. I just felt like because the thing is the cape is coming like from his shoulders and not like and so it's just like then you have the wings. And I get they want to do that thing where like oh yeah he flies and shit right, but mm -hmm. I felt like it would have been a lot better if they had it so that it was like maybe like I'm just trying to think of how how you could better design it. But maybe if you had it like um you know you know like uh, like with a cape like sometimes you have it clipped on or something like that mm -hmm. maybe if you had it clipped on with the wings maybe it would have looked a lot less annoying if you looked at it or or maybe just have the cape transform to wings or some shit you yeah, know or, or right, like, like a bat yeah, yeah that would have been like, like how yeah Batman or the wings it. transform into a cape yeah yeah, right? yeah something like that yeah but i mean i like how they actually end up using all the suit elements from evil live and holy live into this which i think is pretty neat yeah, and it looks real good too. You know, it looks like it's mm -hmm. like good. Like, like, like the colors aren't offensive, right? Mm -hmm. And everything like. Right? I think, also used, I like, think it could have used. I think it could have used some more of like Kagero's like graffiti art style, though. I like the some of the ink blot shit with mm. like that style yeah, for that way evil. Yeah, would have at least felt more of a union rather than just like you have it more. It's more. Oh, you just change. You just change the color. The color accent. Yeah, it's to it's Daiji with some with some yeah with some. Some Kagero like features, basically. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, you look like, at the DLC outfits, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. This one actually, I, I do enjoy this. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely looks better than Holy Live, if anything, right? Because yeah. he does end up using color where, like, in as opposed to Holy Live's color, where it just made no sense. It's like a color evolutionary scale. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Also, I I want to say that this is one of my. I think since Primitive Dragon, this might be one of my. I really liked Primitive Dragon, like, before the elemental Primitive Dragon shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The, like, just the Primitive Dragon, like, transformation trinket, like, uh, sound. Like, the whole chant. Like, the weird, like, EDM, like, wings for the future, just whatever. I f that was, that was pretty hype. And then he got on a whole insert song for it. Like, it was a pretty fucking awesome moment, like, for Daiji, just to finally have some kind of moment. All right, this is what I was talking about. It just—it's just alphas from Zetman. It's—it's just—it's just alphas from Zetman. It's—it's it's literally just alphas oh, from Zetman. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. Change that, yeah. the artwork like, up like, a little bit. Like this whole ball of hell, like, I, I think that would be way more fine. And they also had also. I'm pretty sure because I rewatched the anime recently. I'm pretty sure there is a moment where he has a cape underneath his jetpack. Oh. And it's like. And it's like, because he, or like over his, or maybe it's, it's either he has the cape over the jetpack or under the jetpack, but like, he definitely had a cape at first and then he had to be like, oh, I can't wear a cape anymore. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's so fucking like obvious when I look at it, I go, oh, that's what it is. That's mm -hmm. where I've seen this like stupid combination of jetpack and cape before. Uh... But yeah. Anyway, but hey, so gets now shadow. he gets the bit to do to do fuck to do uh, sh doppelganger from Devil May Cry. I think yeah. that's absolutely sick. I think that's a sick move. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it, it, two, one strike and uh, two hits. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. And look, and it gets them a, gives them an excuse to keep using that to keep that evil suit. You know, right? So like yeah. they didn't forget it. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I also really like the blade version of his weapon more than the fucking gun, honestly. Because mm -hmm. the gun is just like, is just like they they fold it over and then there's clearly no hole for there to shoot anything. It's just the folded over blade. Yeah. But when the blade is out, it's like an actual blade. And you're like, oh mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely like it better than, than the gun for sure. It's, I mean, it's still a kind of dinky like little weapon, but like, hey, at least it oh, yeah, looks no, it's like a, this, a weapon. You def this one should definitely be a little larger, right? 
Mm-hmm. Right? Like, it still looks like a revolver, right? Mm-hmm. I guess it's because... <laughs> I guess because Daddy's only been changed, been trained with a revolver, you know? Doesn't know what a use, what a real gun is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, hey, look, look, they said they send Geek back to the Shadow Realms, you know? Like, like we're getting yeah. tired of you, right? Also, apparently, fucking uh, Ultimate Revice and Ultimate... And Ultimate Ravi and Ultimate Vice can create dimensional portals. I was like, what? Yeah, just like just like Papa taught them. Yeah, I mean they they have the excuse like, oh, you can use Geef's, uh, you know, powers and stuff. Like, if anything, it's yeah. like as much as it's like it hasn't been like hinted at beforehand, I'm kind of like, yeah, okay, sure. Well, no, I mean they've told them that that it can use Geef's powers, but the thing is, the first thing that they did when they transformed was make shadow clones and use magnets, which has never been established as anything that Geef could do. So it's just like, we've never actually really seen them. All it's been is like, I guess, in terms of quantifiable power, mm-hmm. sure, it's this, he's got the same power as Gifu. He's got the same level as, of power as Gifu. Oh, we've shit, never actually I, seen that, him use any the of the same. Eye. Oh, did what? you caught that when, uh, when he did open the dimensional portal? Oh, you're talking about. Like, what, that they shot out a bunch yeah, of people? Otaka. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, Otaka popped like... out. Oh, you didn't didn't really? Realize, okay, they literally, the po- the they the literally pod. commented on it at the yeah, time. Was like, oh, like, Daiji noticed it as he fell out. Yeah. But yeah, a, a whole bunch of people got spat out. Also, now the question is, who is going to actually... Well, mm, no, it's all the people that got turned into demons. Like, I think it's all the people that, he's, or that, that were... Gifu sucked up, you know? The one who's like slurping, like, yum, 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 yum. Yeah, like... In theory, right, it probably would have been, like, it probably would have dispelled Akemi if she hadn't been turned, like, straight into a demon. Although, and, well, they, hey, did, look, they destroyed Ulteka, too. Uh, yeah, they, be... they just, well, no, Ulteka got absorbed by Gifu. Mm-hmm. It's, just, she... it's just because, like, from what I'm noticing, like, I'm seeing a whole bunch of, like, blue and red orbs, right? And so I'm assuming all the blue orbs are just the people, right? Of whoever, whoever, like, the contractors. And then I'm assuming the red orbs are just the demons. That's the thing, because mm. you get a close-up on it. It doesn't mm. look... I mean, it kind of feels like they're demons I mean, Olteca's the only one that they really focus on. But... Oh, it's Hiromi that notices Olteca fall out. But, which, hey, that's some 2020 vision there, fucking Hiromi. Ni- nice spotting him out. Yeah, he can yeah. spot a terrorist from 200 yards away. Yeah, um, he isn't really dead either, but, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess he isn't really dead either. Fuck. Um, but yeah, everybody that was absorbed by Gifu, I don't know if that's going to include. I don't know how many other people that's going to include though, because I mean, there's some people that are just actually dead. Like Hikaru's fake family, they're dead. They they died. They yeah, got yeah, killed. Yeah, but that's yeah. because that's, they that's dead people. Absorbed by Gifu or anything? They were like no, they were up. fucking. One was one was killed in the street by demons, and the other one was murdered by Akaishi and run through with a fist. <laughs> like, yeah, you're not fixing that. You can't... That's yeah, not yeah. like, oh, we... Yeah, that's not, oh, your shadow demon came back to you. Now you can fight and be powerful again. It's like, no. It's, uh... It, it's like fucking, no, they're dead. They, you can't... You can't fix a hole. Alright? Uh, this isn't... This, this is... This is... JoJo's, not Bleach. A hole through the stomach? That's a death sentence. I mean... If you get a hole in your in your stomach in JoJo's, you can still die. No, no, right. I'm saying, Bleach, you don't die. Oh. JoJo's, you de- you're definitely okay. gonna die unless they have one of the JoJo's that can just fucking fix people because they eventually start having to go. We need to have a healer on the team, and we might as well make this OP power be used for healing. Okay. All right, I misunderstood. I don't yeah. care if I have to fill you up with Lego pieces and turn them into body parts. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know. Um, but yeah, also now they can hear Kagero's inner thoughts through Daiji. Yeah. Uh, which is fucking unsettling. <laughs> yeah, I guess Kagero just can magically communicate with them now. I was at least hoping he still takes over the body, right? Like he used to do. I mean, maybe he will. Maybe they'll switch over sometimes yeah. when he the, wants I to. Guess they, like, and then I he, guess it was just the end of the day, and they didn't want to have the actor put up some black eyeliner for the scene, you know? Right? Just like they didn't want... I mean... What would just the... Again, it goes back to, the, like, the logic of the green screen, right? Is, like, were they just that pressed to, like, do this scene without having to, like, do a costume change? Like, it literally would have required... Because the other thing about it, right, isn't just that they're stills. 
it's the only two people in focus for those shots that are there are Daiji and Kagero. So right, all it would you take look at it too, is they definitely filmed this location with Daiji's actor in the Kagero outfit. Like they like none of the Kag like not counting the Kagero um, shots where you don't see the face, right? When he tried to do like right, right, right. No, yeah, he right. was definitely in the Kagero outfit for all some location. of those shots because when they're doing like the the with the back of the stunt double, like to give the illusion of like two people. Yeah. That's that you. That has to happen. The only way that that happens is you have the actor on set mm -hmm. with the fucking makeup. Right, on. Like they definitely but they just on location with him in the cargo outfit and everything. But they didn't decide to walk. Like, do you think the only thing I can think of is that the shots looked somehow worse, or like footage got lost, and that's and they just had to fucking scramble and put fucking goddamn uh, put him in a green screen. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Or and I just think that Toy just sensitive. forgot. Toy didn't think this through, like, oh, hell. Maybe their idea from the game was we'll just freeze game with him in. Right? Like, and they didn't think. That's. I feel unfortunate. Like, I feel like that's something, co I mean, do uh, Toy would actually do. You know? Right? And they would yeah. forget to film this sequence. And they're like, uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. That's unfortunately possible. But hey, anyway, uh, but anyway back hey, old. after all of our happy family returning back together, yeah. uh, George's dad is dead. Oh, hey, yeah. he's really dead and, this and time. We promise. Hey, we actually Arnold gets to go home we, and eat some curry now. I you could know. not take. Well, we promise, but also we promise, we promise he's dead. We promise, we promise he's dead. It's just we promise he's dead. Time. We promise. Also, here's your rock back. It's so uh, I stole your rock from you when you were a kid, and now you can have your rock it's back. It's so fucking wild that like you had this happy moment where like fucking like you know. Like Iki's family is all like healing and shit, and then it's a quick scene where you get this. It's actually a really sad scene, you know, where like I mean, I get, I mean, I guess it's just supposed to show like the size of family, right? Because that's the whole thing about the show. They're like, hey, look, here's your happy life. Here's the sad, depressing. Like, here's the reality of the world, you know, right? Yeah, but I'm just. It's just like, it's 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 so strange because it's just like you have like, like you have a good long moment with Iki and Daiji and you know Sakura like. Soccer and their yeah, mom, right. yeah. And her honestly, there surprised, too, you no, know, the, right, the best, the, the adopted son, right? The yeah. biggest surprise for me is that the dad wasn't there, but, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's just... Yeah. It's just, it's so, it's so... I weird. mean, I don't know, how would you have felt if, if, uh, if Papa Kurosaki and George actually reconciled, right? The thing I mean, is, like, I'm fine, like, I'm fine with, like, with, with, with what happened with George in, in this here, like... Like, right, because I, mean, I feel like this is right. all appropriate, like, right? It's just if you think it's about like, how the story has been writing them, there, you know, it's just very uh -huh. kind of weirdly put in there for me at the very least. Because, I mean, oh, George like, was focused on his stuff, and look, that's what his dad taught him: ignore your family, w focus on your work. He he died as he lived, being ignored. Like, Jesus, <laughs> I'm just saying, like. I, I think I the know, whole you can't point break of it is the like, cycle, you know, like, look, look yeah, some families it, just have a cycle of abuse, you know, right? Like, it's really hard to break the cycle, right? Some say it will just keep going on, you know, right? Yeah, there's so there's supposed to be this, like, I, I feel like that's just what it's supposed to be. Of like, this is how their like story ends, and that's the. I mean, it, even in the sense of like, um, Hikaru and like fake dad and his fake dad, like. Some of these families aren't fucking functional, and they just, like, mm -hmm. don't get to resolve that shit. And then they just have to live with this fucking guilt and burden of, like, oh, I should have said this before they died, or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, yeah no. And it's yeah. like, don't worry, though, his dad still left him with his own demon that he put inside of his son. <laughs> yeah. Without consent. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, yeah, but look, there's only right, three stamps left. really fucking weird how it's the mob just there, right? Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 wasn't he like I don't know why... That I know the dad was like beat up after the fight, but I don't know why he isn't like back at this point. By yeah, now. He was pretty mm -hmm. fucking beat up though, right? So that's like. I mean, look, look, yeah. look, 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 maybe there was not enough space at the weekend underground a hospital, so they sent him home to to be to deal with it. You know, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, like I think this is like this is a really good ending. I think it's like just the fact that the dad isn't there, right, to be part of this ending. You know, especially after he gave the big speech, I'm like, hey, look. We're gonna be a family again, you know, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is good. I've just, I just found the juxtaposition, like, like, and I get it, like, there's a point to it. I just found it, like, really weird, you know? 
Like, mm -hmm. I, yeah. I felt like it, it could have either happened earlier or something, but uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It was just weird to me. Yeah. But but don't worry, William. There are three stamps left in the show, right? Yeah. We have look. We have six it. episodes left. Three stamps left. That well, the bingo board. Hmm. I can't wait for them to so, flip the page again and have more oh God, stamps I come up. If it fucking does, I will. I'll be so fucking livid. Holy shit. <laughs> well, I hold on. Here, here's the problem, it. Austin. Here's the problem, Austin. Okay, okay. So I'm thinking about it, right? Uh-huh. So the stamps. Yeah, yeah. That are left. Okay. Technically. Technically. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If there's really a finite number of stamps, we should know at least what two of them are. Because of movie. I mean, because I don't think they're counting that movie stamps in D. Because I know, yeah. I know what one of the stamps are because of preview scans for this mod, right? Okay. But I don't know... So they're not counting... They're not gonna count the Twin Camaro? No. I think they're not counting that. I... Right? Okay. Because I know one stamp, so I know technically there's only two stamps they have to left to review. Oh, by the way, the stamp I know that's gonna be reviewed is gonna be depressing and disappointing as fuck. Like... Oh, boy. Okay. It's for, it's, for a it's for a character who's had nothing but disappointment shoved for her, for her throughout the show, you know, right? Uh, anyway, mm. anyway, here's the here's the mean, all right? Yeah. And hey, they're both named Sakura. Yeah, they're yeah, both they're yeah. they're both named <laughs> Sakura, by the way. Just I realized oh, that as we were talking, I was like, oh boy. And then I realized the meme. Oh God. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look. She didn't look do that during this part. Hey, look, that special that they announced for for Sakura and and Hana. And, ha and Hana. Hey, yeah. look. Hey, look. Look, it's it's yeah. also gonna be the first because they reviewed all the all the guest cameos, right? And all those yeah, I saw that. Or one hundred percent outshadow the revise cast. That's for sure. Oh my god. It's it's pretty it's pretty depressing who's the guest cast on that. <laughs> but but hey, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The three stamps left. Let's see what happens. Will mm -hmm. Vice stay a good boy, or will he be a bad boy? Mm -hmm. We've already uh -oh. done this before, but maybe this time it'll be hey, for look, real. Hey, look, uh, look, uh, hey, look, hey, look, it turns out, it turns out they didn't seal uh, Geek correctly when they sent him back to the Shadow Realms, you know? Right? They forgot, yeah, look. Yeah, should've... Look, 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 you look, look, look. They chased away the bear, there. but they forgot to tie up their food and hang it up on a tree, you know? So he's back. Yeah. And hungry. <laughs> Alright, are, are we done? I guess All so. Alright, alright. Coronavirus is still a thing. Watch this, wear a mask. Get your shots. The booster's a thing now. Kate thinks bye.